What's up everybody, Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today we're going to be showing you how to lock applications using your fingerprint on devices that don't include a fingerprint scanner. And there you go. So to do this, we're going to be using the free non-root application called Fingerprint App Lock Real. Once installed, just go ahead and launch the application. But before we go any further, it should be noted that this application is compatible for all devices, meaning you can install it, but in terms of functionality, it is different from device to device. Now, personally, I've had success with this application on the Note 4, the Nexus 6, and the OnePlus One. Where it didn't fare so well was using the Galaxy S6 and using the LG G3. Now, this is because it utilizes the hardware on your device, the camera and autofocus feature. So just be aware of that it may or may not work for your device, but either way, you should definitely try it out. So in the main menu of the application, we're gonna go ahead and select finger enroll. This is where we start the scanning process and registering our finger. Here are some tips and how to get it set up. And then you're just gonna go ahead and enroll. Now from here, which is cool, is you can select the finger that you use. You don't have to use your index, you can use any one you want. So if you're left-handed, go ahead and use that one. Well, we're gonna use this finger, then we're gonna start the scanning process. So to make sure that it successfully scans your finger, you have to do this seven times. So just make sure you align it well inside of that little outline. Once you get that green and it starts scanning it, you know you did it successfully. So that's the first time I'm gonna go ahead and do it six more times. Once you're done with the last scan, you'll get this cool confirmation or verification page and it'll let you know that your match was confirmed where you'll then go ahead and hit use this fingerprint. Now in addition to using your fingerprint, you can also enable a pattern and pin lock. This is pretty useful for a backup in case for some reason it's not using your finger or scanning it properly. But now that everything's set up, let's just go ahead and lock apps. Now before locking our applications or selecting the app, we'll need to enable a special accessibility service setting. So it prompts you, just go ahead, hit OK, locate the preference fingerprint app lock, then I'll go ahead and enable. And now you're ready to lock applications. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look for Facebook again, since that one always has sensitive materials or content within it. And I'm gonna go home and try to open up Facebook. Now as you can see, it automatically opens up the locker or scanner and I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger to unlock and access Facebook. So whether or not this will work on your particular device, you'll need to find out, but as you can see, it works pretty well and I have tried to unlock applications using a other finger other than the one registered and it does not work. The only real glitch I found is that when you're trying to open the fingerprint application, not the one you locked, I can actually bypass the scanner if I just hit the back button on this device. It's not that big of a deal and I made sure that it doesn't work in the applications I locked. So if I try to do this in the Facebook when it's trying to scan my finger, pressing the back button will not bypass the scanner. So definitely go ahead and try it out. Check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com for more details and the download link. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and definitely hit the subscribe button for some more awesome and very useful gadget hack videos. Thanks guys.